What do you have to say for yourself? I'm not done. Don't look at me. What are you working on? Heatless curls. Heatless curls. It is a late Sunday night and we are hungry. We're making chili. The weather is a little bit cooler. The time change just happened. And believe it or not, we're getting out Christmas decorations. So this is a little sneak peek. We have this chili at least once a week. Yes, even when it's super hot out. This is in our recipe book. It's our best chili ever. It's in the recipe app. Definitely check it out. I've done it on the channel too before. So maybe we'll link that one below. Why are you still getting my humiliating look right now? Oh, something about this time of year. Full of all this love and cheer. Oh, Christmas. It's Christmas. I see mistletoe, young and old. And yes, I know there's nowhere I'd rather be next to our family tree. Good morning, you guys. So this is my third attempt at heatless curls. Only my second attempt with this particular type. So I slept in this overnight and it was surprisingly comfortable. Both of the kids keep telling me, mom, you look so beautiful. So I'm like, <laughs> should I just keep this in like this all day or what? They'll tell you you look beautiful when you feel at your worst or when you're like not even trying. I'm gonna get going on the day here. We're gonna share a what we eat in a day today. And I am super hungry. That's one thing about pregnancy. I wake up so hungry. Like first trimester was tough. Like I had to get up in the middle of the night and eat. Now I can sleep through the night, but I wake up super hungry. So we've been doing really big breakfasts. Even before this pregnancy, we've been on to like the whole eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a queen, and dinner like a pauper. Really front loading our day so we can have energy and we're just breakfast people. I mean, juices, smoothie bowls, oats. I'm just loving my green smoothie bowls again. Wow, look at these curls. Isn't that amazing? Heatless, heatless curls, you guys. Usually I like a little bit more of a relaxed curl that looks a little bit more like second day. I think by the time I work out and kind of go through the day, it's gonna relax and do what I want it to do. But you know what? These would be perfect for like holiday party curls. So. I'm sold. It's much better for your hair. I felt so Christmassy putting up the tree last night with that little wrap in. <laughs> I don't usually part my hair down the middle either. This is not a hair tutorial video, but heatless curls are having a moment on social media right now and I thought you guys might be interested. So I will link the one below that I use. What are we gonna make for breakfast? Smoothie bowls? We are gonna do... Green smoothies? Do you think it should be green smoothies? I think it should be because... And we did waffles. What else would it be? And Max is trying desperately to decorate the tree. Like he will not leave the tree alone. <laughs> Baby bump update, 15 weeks. By the time you're watching this, I'll be 16 weeks. Man, can you even believe it's almost halfway? just found these really amazing kids cups on Amazon. They're actually bamboo, they're fully compostable. I love the colors and the textures and the kids love them too. We're moving towards like more and more bamboo. Sit, shake. You're so pretty, look how fluffy he is. Let's give him a, and you have Christmas on your bandana. Outside, you gotta go put it outside for him.
for oatmeal, since we're just doing regular stovetop oats, I always just mash two ripe speckled bananas in. And then sometimes I'll add protein. I'm gonna add some vanilla protein powder, a little pinch of salt, a generous amount of cinnamon. And usually I'll blend the protein powder with a little bit of organic soy milk. And then I'll pour that in at the end once the heat is turned off just so we don't have to like cook the protein or the milk or the bananas. And it just makes it really creamy and smooth when you blend in. And sometimes we put in some pitted medjool dates too. They're so juicy and good right now. We get them from Bautista Organic Date Ranch online. They're organic. They're just like so soft. Cherries are definitely like our favorite fruit to add to our oats. Put water in it. What is that, a pretty flower? Uh-huh. Tell me. So I am taking my complement essential along with breakfast. You take three a day, so I just divide them out between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Complement, if you've not heard us rave about already, is an essential multi-nutrient for plant-based eaters that contains the eight critical nutrients that you do not want to be skimping on. So everything from B12 and D3 to your algae-based omegas, K2, iodine, all kinds of good stuff packed into one capsule, one place. It's not a supplement to replace anything dietarily, it's just a complement as the name states. If you guys wanna check out Complement, you can use Eat and Rest 15. Everything is linked below. You can get 15% off. They also have other amazing products we love, like you probably saw me using their Daily Greens organic greens powder in our smoothie. That one also tastes amazing on its own, just mixed into water. And then they also have a gut nurture that's also good mixed into water that's amazing, has prebiotics, probiotics. It's so good for your gut. So go check out Compliment. Like I said, everything is linked below. All right, let me get this thing raised up. I am making a quick smoothie, and then I'm gonna go do a workout. I'm also gonna freeze bananas. Seems like every time we're filming a video, I'm freezing bananas, but we go through them like crazy. So every time I go to the grocery store, it's like a big ordeal. We buy 40 pounds of bananas or more at a time, let them ripen on the shelf in the laundry room, and then peel them and freeze them, and we have bananas for weeks, or smooth frozen bananas for smoothies for weeks. And today's the day that I need to peel and freeze them all. It takes me like 45 minutes to an hour to do so, but again, it's worth it because then we have smoothies for a long, long time. So I'm probably gonna pop on like an Audible audiobook and have a good listen. Aaron just went outside to do a workout. I'm gonna make myself a another little workout smoothie. So I've been using creatine, some L-carnitine, just a few like performance enhancing herbs. I actually joined the gym down the street. It's just a anytime fitness, but I seriously am loving going in there because I can work body parts that I'm not able to here in the garage. That is so, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Speaking of bananas, I've got something very exciting. Bananas back here, homegrown. I've got some bananas planted over there, some papaya, some mango, star fruit. If you guys wanna see all the tropical flowers and fruits that we've got growing here in our subtropic Florida home, go watch this video, I'll put the link below here. I did a full yard tour and now we're starting to see the fruits of our labor, no pun intended. I'm gonna show you guys these papayas too, but first, I've never harvested bananas before. I've never grown bananas before. So I need some tips from you guys. I was watching videos. There's a really awesome YouTuber that I follow who grows his, all of his own food. I, I believe he's in Australia. Anyway, he was saying that a lot of people pick their bananas before they're ripe, when they're still green but it just doesn't make sense to me. And he was actually saying the same thing. He's like, no, let your bananas ripen on the vines. So that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully they'll turn yellow soon and then we can harvest them. Definitely bring you guys along for that. But come 
check out these papayas. Aaron just came in yesterday and was like, wow, have you seen our papaya trees lately? Here we are in and underneath these papaya trees and I cannot believe it. I also posted just a few months ago when I planted these, they were like a foot tall. They were so, so tiny and now they're like seven, eight feet tall. It's crazy. But check these out. They're coming, you guys, and it's so, so exciting to be growing our own fruit. We actually did get our first harvest of mangoes this summer, which was unreal exciting. So super fun to be here in the tropics growing our own fruit. It's like a dream come true. Now stepping inside back to my giant pile of bananas and realizing how hard it is to actually grow your own food and fruit. I'm like, wow, it really makes me so grateful for the food that we're all able to just go buy from the grocery store. Like, obviously it would be amazing if we all had enough land and time to grow our own food. But how fortunate are we that we don't have to do that? We don't have to rely on that as amazing as it would be. And being like super present with our food reminds me of when Aaron and I were getting our coaching certifications. We were in a lesson and the person came in and they were like, okay guys, today we're gonna do some food awareness. We were all asked to go grab a piece of food and examine that food and to think about this food as a seed being watered, growing, being harvested, being sorted, washed, put on a truck, put on another truck, put in a warehouse, put on a boat. Like, what is that journey like coming to us? Because you can see where they're grown. These bananas that I'm peeling today, it says we're grown in Colombia. So imagine that journey. Every time you take a bite of food, it's incredible and the gratitude, you know, we like to pray over our food and thank God for our food and thank the farmers and the people that planted them and just wow, what, a, what an amazing process it is and how fortunate we are to be able to go and buy all these foods that are so hard to grow. Pretty awesome. Find the gratitude. Over the weekend, I made some date balls. These are actually our earthy energy balls. There's dates and oats and just a touch of maple syrup, some cinnamon, vanilla, and we used raw almond butter. You can use peanut butter or cashew. And I also made a batch of our superfood brownies. Similar ingredients, sweetened with dates. We're having a little snack time. Brownies and date balls. They're so good. I have date balls. No refined sugar protein, omega-3s, there's chia and flax in the brownies. There's hemp seeds and almond butter in the date balls. Oats, so good for so many things. So many minerals. We've got protein and iron. They're just like the best dessert because they're not really dessert. They're something you can eat any day, anytime for energy without the guilt just all the fun and all the flavor. So if you guys want to try these recipes, they are in our Eat With Rest meal planner and recipe app. Go check out Superfood Brownies and Earthy Energy Balls. They're so good, so good. And we're getting so festive. We're gonna decorate the tree in a little bit after snack time. And we found so many cool Christmas books at the library. We are not holding back. We are just going for it early this season. The Nutcracker we watched last night on TV, and I ordered us tickets. I can't wait. Mom, give me a fork and some okay. cashew butter. Cashew butter is the preferred topping of choice, so no need for frosting. But if you want to make it frosting-like, then just mix cashew butter with maple syrup, and it is so good. Have a good video. <laughs> Have a good video. Have a great day. So for the oven roasted chickpeas, oil free of course, I'm going to be adding two tablespoons, actually about two and a half, two and a half tablespoons of nutritional yeast. We're just going to make them really cheesy flavored. Half teaspoon of onion powder, about a half teaspoon of salt. We're just going to mix these and spread them evenly on a parchment lined baking tray. We're going to bake these about 45 minutes and we're going to watch and stir them about every 15 minutes to make sure they get 
cooked evenly. In the last 10 minutes, just watch really closely to make sure they're not burning. And then when we remove them from the oven, we will let them cool for 10 to 15 minutes before eating them. If you wanna ensure maximum crispness, you can always turn off the oven and crack the door and let them cool in there for about one hour. So for lunch, I'm making a creamy kale salad with curly kale and I'm topping it with a tahini and lemon dressing, the most basic of basic, just one to two tablespoons of tahini and a half to a whole lemon, depending on how watery I feel like I want the dressing to be. And then I like to really massage it into the kale until it starts to break down and turn dark green. I love red onions, so I'm topping it with some raw red onions and about half a can of those toasted chickpeas. And then I had about one medium roasted sweet potato left over in the fridge. And then about a quarter of an avocado and my absolute favorite, this local sauerkraut on top for gut health. This is such a seriously epic salad. I will be making this on repeat. You can find it brand new in our meal planner app. And now time to get out the Christmas stuff. Decorations. These little booties always represent the baby on the way. <laughs> coming along for the ride with us you guys we so love and adore all of you in our eat move rest fam oh also for dinner we had leftover best chili ever which you can also find on youtube and in our meal planner and recipe app be sure to add this staple to your rotation especially this fall and winter bye guys there are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better eat move and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 